Hello friends, today we're going to do something really quick. This is a track ball that I ended up with. It used to belong to my mom. And uh, she loved these track balls. I was never a fan of them myself. But this one is the type that has the, um, the PC uh, old style plug-in cord. So she left me with a couple of others that are more modern that have a USB interface. So this one is definitely scrap. Uh, I don't really know how much how these worked, but what I thought how I thought they worked was some sort of uh, orthogonal roller scheme in here. But it appears as though it's actually an optical sensor here, and the snazzy pattern that you see on the ball itself is actually part of the mechanism. I thought that was just decorative. But this is designed to pop in and out for easy cleaning, which looks like didn't happen to get done. Now I've already taken the four screws out of this, and we're going to do what for me has turned out to be the most interesting part of this so far, which is how to get the darn thing apart. <clears throat> So, here, you take care of that. So, to give you some background here, I've already used three different screwdrivers with the conventional prying method. Had some luck. Here's my four screws that come out. I have learned that when you take out all the screws and it still won't go anywhere there's often some sort of label or possibly rubber foot that's covering a screw this is just a sticker no or printing there's no label there this is also a sticker these might be covering something let's try to pull one of those off in case it is although i don't think so Okay, nothing there. So I went into this with the idea that if I took out the four screws and did some sort of gentle prying, that would be enough. But it turns out even some real significant prying using multiple screwdrivers, if you look carefully, there's all kinds of marks already that I put in before I even started shooting this. So we're going to have to use what I've been calling tools of persuasion. This is one of my favorite tools of persuasion. This is uh, called a wonder bar, which is kind of a joke on the old German word. Meaning wunderbar, meaning wonderful. This is one of those things where... You try to get it apart without hurting yourself in the process. We will s soon find out whether or not I'm successful in those two goals. Now that's interesting. Look, you heard all those crunchy, scary sounds. And the thing still didn't budge. Of course, there are other tools of persuasion, notably a sledgehammer that I've got. But the wonder bar, which I have great confidence in from having had many successful experiences with it, is not doing the job. Now, as editorial comment, God bless the Logitech people for building something sturdy, but it can be a little too sturdy. Now, I have a vice nearby I could use.
one nearby vice is a bottle of beer. In case this thing drives me to drink. Now another tip I've learned on I can pass along on such things is you typically find some sort of a sticking point and then there's some sort of screw or something at that point. Oh. This is one of those deals where you wish you had an extra hand, although it's hard to monetize that sort of thing in these days of political correctness. Now some things are not designed to be repaired, and that's okay in a disposable world. There's this thing I learned years ago at the Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream Factory. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Well, I do what I can on all three of those points. But clearly the Logitech people were not planning for a lot of recycling here or even reusing of parts which is part of what I try to do on this channel no oh. <laughs> boy do I feel silly there's one screw I didn't take out okay I'm going to retract all the comments I made about the Logitech people. Now we have five screws. And it comes right open quite easily. So here's another thing we just learned about reusing, which is... If it's not coming apart, it may be that you missed a screw. Especially if you've got a screw loose. Huh. Well, look at that. This is actually quite a nice little modular design now that I've learned from my f folly. Here's this uh, apparent photo sensor. Let's take a look at that. Here it is without the little uh, little protective cover thing. Just as a real quick tour, we've got a micro switch because this had a uh, mouse button on each side, left and right mouse button in the standard way. Uh, we've got a little connector for our cable. Some sort of minimal power conditioning here, probably. And kind of an all-in-one IC that, um, let's see if we can get a close-up of that in case anybody wants to look it up at home. Does anybody care? I'm not sure I do. And there it is. Okay, so this silliness has already gone on too long. There's another lesson here. The Wonder Bar can only do so much. Never apply a Wonder Bar to any situation that requires a screwdriver. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.